Hi everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the LG Ultra Wide Monitor. This is a 21 to 9 aspect ratio instead of the uh, regular 16 to 9 aspect ratio that most monitors come in. This is ultra wide, it comes in a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. Uh, this is model 29WN600. And this is this is it right here. So let's get it unboxed and see what we got. All right. Now I do believe this is the bottom. So let's open it from this side. Open here. All right. Maybe I'm right. Maybe the box is not lying. Let's see what we got. By the way, this is uh, the reason for this purchase is this is going to be um, uh, used as the uh, monitor for the uh, uh, Apple Mini uh, M M1 that I got. Uh, it's a M1 Mac Mini that we recently got. All right, so there are the inside contents of the box HDMI cable I probably won't use this I have an HDMI cable that I've already a really good one that I've already got connected to the monitor a power cable a power brick a owner's manual on DVD We have a cap. This goes on the stand. We have two screws. Here is the base for the stand. And then we have the bottom part of the stand right here. It feels actually pretty hefty. I also have in here um, a quality assurance report. Basically talks about the that it was tested and these are the specifications that it was tested at uh, and, the, and, the, and the results that were achieved from the test so that's cool to have um, a registration card this is it looks like uh, an assembly instructions and how to connect it yes and manufacturer warranty paperwork so looks like all checks out so let's get all this stuff secured down over here screws right there let's get this out So I'll be right back. All right. I wanted to glove up. 
because I love my equipment and I do not like marking anything up that doesn't need to be marked up. In this case, this monitor does not need to have fingerprints all over it. But very nice. So here it is. In all its glory. Very nice. So. I can see some dust and debris on it. We can get that all cleaned off. Let's spin it around. Here. We have a display port, two HDMIs, um, headphone jack, and then the power cable in there, set screw, and then this is for the stand. So, and there's an LG logo right here at the top. Again, this is the model 29WN600-W. Um, I'm going to put it together real quick and then get it hooked up. I'm going to record all of it. I'm going to speed through it, but uh, we'll keep the camera on. We'll keep the camera rolling. See, we've got a Kensington lock here. Do you want to secure it? Which is pretty cool. That's it. Assembles in seconds, really. Not bad at all. Alright, again, I've already got an HDMI cable for this monitor so I'm gonna get it cleaned up uh, get it all wiped down um, swap out the monitor I have on uh, it's already connected to the, um, the M1 and then turn the camera around and get some shots over at my little station now it's not really cleaned up yet but um, we're gonna get this hooked up here in a minute all right so we'll be right back all right, so we're back inside of um, the computer now. I've got the uh, the LG uh, Ultra Wide hooked up to the uh, M1 Mac Mini. Again, I apologize for the the disarray here. I'm literally consolidating the studio right now to make room for this setup. So I've I've got to clear out space to make space. Anyway, um, this desk will be reconfigured. Um, probably can't see it off monitor here I actually have um, my old monitor this is a Dell um, that is going to be set up with this rig that I'm going to use for scopes and stuff over on that monitor um, you can see here we got um, we got a full timeline, um, beautiful colors, sky is awesome. Um, it really looks good. Um, the the benefits of a monitor like this is basically uh, you, it's two monitors. If you think of it like this, it's two monitors without the the divider between them. So it's it's really good when you want to have multiple items open at once. Maybe you want a browser and then a Word doc open uh, along with each other. Um, a, a, an ultra wide monitor with a twenty one to nine aspect ratio really gives you that extra real estate that makes it real nice uh, to do stuff like that. Um, it is a a flat matte black which is is really nice. It looks really good here in the studio with minimal light. It it um it doesn't it doesn't need a lot of of um light to make uh, the monitor look good in the room. Um, it 
you can extend out your uh, your uh, your your web browser for emails and stuff or like I said you can minimize it have multiple windows open at once to do different tasks without really losing functionality so I mean you could be working on one thing over here in your email while you're over here working on an e uh, uh, not an email but working on another project um, or what I'm um, going to be enjoying is having um, multiple uh, Adobe apps open up like uh, Photoshop and Illustrator side by side able to literally drag an element from Photoshop into Illustrator and vice versa so um again th this is th it's really nice to have something like this um it's uh it's not a necessity uh but this monitor r really is is for for video editing you've got so much more space to work with that really makes it um it almost begs you to 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 do video editing because again it's all uh, uh, having the single monitor that I had, uh, the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, it just felt like everything was just crunched. I mean, now, I mean, you add your media pool, you add your effects library. Uh, I mean, it's it's really. You can put your inspector on. You can throw your mixer in there. And you really you still have a room for you know to to zoom in to certain things. I mean, it's just it's 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 a real nice way to work. It's a real nice way to uh, take a look at your landscape, bring in all the elements you need to work efficiently with, and still have plenty of room to see what it is that you're trying to edit. Um, and again, the uh, extra monitor I'm going to have over on the side here, uh, when I'm in color mode, I'm going to plan on having uh, my scopes um, pull, uh, broken out over here. So the, I'll, I'll break them out of here, have them over here, which will give me even more real estate here. So they'll be over here on the second monitor all the time. Um, I have a... Um, uh, a Thunderbolt dock or actually a Thunderbolt hub coming this week uh, I'll do an unboxing and a review of that when it comes and that is going to finish out the uh, the, the setup uh, this will be my new video editing um, and um, I guess you can say multimedia production uh, I'll still be doing the video editing from my uh, my Mac Pro but this will be what I'm going to use for video uh, for the time being. Eventually, I plan on bringing this all the way over to the other side of the studio and doing both audio and video editing on it. But for right now, my Mac Pro is still running strong. Um, so this is going to be my uh, my video uh, computer. Uh, so I'll have the ultra wide, and I'll have this my Dell over here in um, in portrait mode. And I'll be able to, and I may even have it in landscape mode. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I mean, it's very easily could be done just like that, you know. Very easily could run it like that. Um, I don't think that's what I'm going to do, but I'm just saying it could be done. So it'll be nice to have the scopes over there and then being able to, again, do all my editing right here and and, and not have my, because uh, I've been editing the last couple of videos on the Dell in this mode and I'm used to having my scopes broke out on my sec on the second monitor. That's the way I've always worked. Um, again, with, since I got the M1, I've, I've, I've been working on a minimalist approach till I got all of my accessories in. So 
the, the wide format monitor, the ultra wide uh, uh, monitor, and then the um, the Thunderbolt hub are going to be the two elements that allow me to truly uh, get the, the two monitors set up, get all my batteries and stuff off the desk, and clean this whole area up and, and have a nice uh, clean area just for doing um, uh, multimedia, uh, whether it's video, whether it's graphic design, um, all that kind of stuff will all be done from this desk on this on this M1 computer. So I'm real excited for that. The LG looks real good. Um, I'm going to put it through its paces a little bit, uh, especially when I get the, um, the the Thunderbolt hub. When I get that, I'm going to have both monitors set up. I'll come back to another video of that, and then we could get uh, uh, some um, some some real. We can get some real um, good uh, re review and feedback going when we, when I have it, all the elements working together, sort of uh, showing uh, the, the 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 workstation the way I I had envisioned it in my mind. So um, right now we're getting there. Man, these colors look great on here. That really looks nice. This was a uh, 4K drone footage shot on a DJI DJI Mavic Air um, but yeah wow that looks good I heard HDR mode was a little too oversaturated in it, and it didn't look like that um, when I just had it when I flipped through. So um, I'm going to make a video that's going to do walk through all the menus. I'm not. This was basically just an unboxing and a and a quick setup. I'm not going to go into all the all the features and functionality of the monitor. Uh, we, I'll make a video on the, on that here once I get again all of my accessories in. Then I'll be able to do a real good. Um, um, deep dive into the, what what this monitor can do. Get that on there, make sure. So, all right, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the section below, or you can feel free to email me at bbuck822 at gmail .com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, until then, uh, man, I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me here on my channel. Um, I look forward to keep being able to make content like this for you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have a bunch more to share here shortly. All right, talk to you later. Have a great evening. Bye-bye now.